so it is week 14, though blog 13. Unlucky for some. And this week I wanted to talk about spirituality and spiritual practice. Now, before you run away, it's got nothing to do with religion. And I say that with some authority. And I will explain that statement at the end of this blog. And if nothing else, you'll have a good laugh, I hope. So, what is spiritual practice? Well, it's a tough thing to define because in my view, it kind of comes with like total freedom. Uh, unlike religion, which has its framework, uh, spiritual practice is very unique and personal to each individual and can really be any form of practice. Should it be yoga or meditation? I'm a chanter, so I do chanting. Uh, it could be a walk in nature. It could be saying your prayers, um, admiring beauty, uh, many different things. And having a spiritual practice and actually doing a spiritual practice are two very different things, um, a la the home gym that you hang your jacket on point taken. So actually doing your spiritual practice on a regular basis, I think, has very um, good benefits for your life and even for your health. Uh, they say that doing um, spiritual practice reduces stress, and that's a fantastic thing in this modern world, and also gives us access to peace and serenity, which you know, tends to keep us calmer, which is another good thing. It also, um, I think, helps to add some form of meaning and purpose uh, to life on this spinning rock, or at least helps us to delve into the questions of is there meaning and purpose on this rock, or is everything totally random? I find for myself, you know, when I am spiritually fit and doing a regular spiritual practice, I tend to be much calmer, I'm much more able to cope with uh, whatever life throws at me. Um, I tend also to be less self-centered and able to think more about others and actually do more things for others which in turn tends to lead to fulfillment. The idea of being helpful and of service, I think is a very fulfilling thing in life. Also, it helps me to be emotionally and mentally more stable. And I find that I'm less prone to outbursts. I'm less prone to taking things seriously or too seriously, I should say, or taking things too personally. And um, so those are some great reasons right there. And as I say, a continuous spiritual practice is something which I think brings all these things to the fore, including an appreciation of beauty, uh, both of oneself and the beauty in nature and beauty in other people. And they say that people who appreciate beauty have a better access to happiness. So right there is a good reason uh, to do a spiritual practice. So I said at the start of this blog that uh, it had nothing to do with religion and that I um, spoke with some authority on that matter. And the reason I said that was, of course, uh, in a previous life, I was a Roman Catholic priest, and I wanted to finish this blog with a photograph of me giving you my blessing. So there it is. You've seen it here. Enjoy your week and take care.